What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a full day of eating like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It'll be a day in the diet of the seven time Olympia champion and also one of the most well-known bodybuilders ever. I'll be partaking in his bulking diet. So a lot of you guys are familiar with seeing him back in the day when he was on stage, when he was super cut, super ripped. But on the off season, he was always focused on packing on as much muscle and he usually looked like this. So that's the diet that I will be taking you guys through today. Arnold didn't necessarily track his calories. He really just focused on eating as much as he could during the off season and eating whole foods. He would always try and hit 250 grams of protein because he weighed 250 pounds and he believed that one gram of protein to one pound of body weight was ideal. So that's what I'll be doing today as well. Before we get into that first meal, make sure that you guys hit that like button. If you guys like seeing me go through a bodybuilder's diet, don't forget to leave any comments and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. If you guys have not already, if you guys are interested in this, definitely follow along with today's video and let's kick things right off and get to that first meal. So first meal of the day, we have two things on the lineup. First, we have four eggs with two slices of bacon. Arnold ate a lot of eggs in the off season. And then we also have one serving of oats with some milk and some honey. So just think of overnight oats. And yeah, let's dive in really quick here and see how this first meal is. The bacon's really good just because I don't really eat bacon. I do like occasionally, but very rarely. The eggs, eh, they're kind of bland. I've also been eating a lot of eggs and I feel like if you eat a ton of eggs for like a long extended period of time, you kind of just get tired of them. And I feel like that's how I am with eggs right now. But we're good for you. Arnold did, so we're gonna do it. First meal is in the books. Everything was pretty good. The only pitfall was the eggs. They're kind of bland, but overall pretty solid meal. It's very filling. I usually don't eat that much right when I wake up, but we're eating exactly how Arnold eats. So now we're going to digest the food a little bit, hit the gym in a little bit. So I will see you guys in the gym for our workout. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. Just got to the gym and it is chest day. I'm about to hit this chest day in honor of Arnold. The thing that really stood out to me about Arnold's physique was his chest. It was so well developed. It was just like top tier amongst like all the other bodybuilders. He had a really good physique overall, but his chest was just one thing that was the highest level I thought. So we're about to hit this chest day and without further ado, let's get into that gym. got done with that chest workout it was great as always and now it is time to refuel with Arnold's second meal of the day and it's kind of on the lighter end but here's a lineup it's just two glasses of milk as you can see right here and then I got one banana right here as well in the off season Arnold would drink two glasses of milk with almost every single meal just because it's high in calories high in protein 
So that's what we're doing here. And then just a little side note, we are sporting the raw nutrition shirt today. Make sure you check out their website, code ROTLIST saves you 10%. And then calories and macros are also gonna be on the screen. And without further ado, I'm gonna down this milk, eat the banana, and this will be our second meal of the day. Cheers. Back here in the kitchen, we're about to cook up Arnold's third meal of the day. First, we're gonna start off with 10 ounces of salmon. We also have a sweet potato right here. I'm going to cook up some broccoli, just a cup of broccoli. Mix it with a serving of olive oil. And then we also are going to just have a serving of almonds on the side. Almonds and the sweet potato, they're ready to go. Right now the broccoli and the salmon are cooking up on the stove top. So everything will be ready in a few minutes. But one thing that I've really noticed about Arnold's diet is that it's super high in fats. And this really was not uncommon in the golden era of bodybuilding. They were heavily focused on higher fats and higher protein and then a little lower on the carbs. Look at that salmon. Look at that. Ooh. Looks so good. I just went ahead and mixed everything together, threw it in a bowl, and then we got our little thing of almonds as well. It looks phenomenal. I'm gonna get everything, try it for you guys. That's super good. It doesn't even eat sauce. Like when I was first reading about his diet and some of the meals that he has, he never really mentioned about using sauces or condiments or anything like that. And this doesn't even eat it. I did use some spices to add some flavor to it, and that might just be why it's so good. But overall, pretty simple meal, and I'm super happy with it. meal number four of Arnold's diet and it is on the lighter end it's pretty much like a snack that's one thing that I have noticed during Arnold's diet is that it consists of six meals but some of them are like mini meals or snacks and that's what this one kind of is but the lineup consists of two cups of Greek yogurt Arnold would actually eat cottage cheese but personally I do not like cottage cheese so we are going with Greek yogurt instead and then we also have another serving of almonds. So I'm about to down these and that will be meal number four. We're now on to meal number five and all the ingredients are right here. So starting off with our protein source, we have some ground bison. Arnold used to eat various types of meats, really focused on lean meats. So ground beef, steak, chicken. I don't have any of that. So I'm going with ground bison. It is 90-10, so it's pretty lean. And then we're also doing a cup of rice and then another cup of broccoli and then a serving of olive oil. cooked up and ready to be devoured you guys can see it right here the sheer volume is just crazy it's huge I'm about to try everything really quick pretty solid it's good stuff it's very simple too like most of Arnold's meals have been really simple whole foods just a few ingredients so I mean that's really what it's all about and then we've got meal six coming up now we are finishing up the night with Arnold's famous protein shake right here. And it had a cup of milk, some ice cream, and then, yes, you saw correctly, one whole egg, shell and everything. It was pretty interesting. My girlfriend's definitely judging me right now. But we're about to give it a try. So 
here we go. First sip, I was a little skeptical, but now I've had a few more sips and it's growing on me. That right there was just the last sip of the protein shake and that's also going to wrap up the final meal and also the full day of eating like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was really fun. I definitely enjoyed the challenge. The total calories and macros are gonna be on the screen. It ended up being just under 5,000 calories, so around 4,600 calories total for the day. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a like and definitely leave a comment about any of the meals below. And then hit that subscribe button if you guys have not subscribed already. And then follow me on Instagram at Brennan Rott. That pretty much wraps everything up. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.